everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a video on my fall slash winter essentials for a toddler, for my little Kaden. This is actually a collab video with Jessica from the Mommy Archives and she's going to be doing her fall slash winter essentials for a toddler girl. So we thought that that would be a nice collab idea to see what we have different. Also, we're from very different climates. I'm from Canada in quite the colder area and she's from Texas. So yeah, it'd just be fun to see what are our essentials. So anyways, let's get started with the video. in a mumble jumbled order because I do kind of have a lot of essentials because the climate here where I live can be very cold. Our falls are chilly and rainy and then our winters can be like minus 40 degrees Celsius. It like that's that that's an extreme but that's how cold it can get. So we get very cold where I live. Uh, so yeah. So my very first essential is for fall and winter and it would have to be slippers. These are the slippers that I have. These ones are actually Mackenzie's which is my three month old if you didn't know. Um, I have a three month old and a two, almost three year old. But these are, they're called Padraig's. I don't know, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly for one. And I don't know if they're available in the US, but I know they are made in Canada. They are a wool and sheepskin bottom slippers. They're just very, very good quality. They're very warm. And I just think they're essential because at least where I live, it can get very cold and I have hardwood floors and the floors can get very cold so it's very nice to be able to have them put on little slippers when they're inside the house to make sure their feet are going to stay warm when it gets chillier. They're just they're just one of my essentials. Then mainly in the fall season, of course you have the standard like rainy day essentials which would obviously be rain boots, splash pants, and a good rain jacket. This here is Caden's rain fall slash fall jacket. It is from the children's place. The reason I love it so much is it's not like a plastic rain jacket. It is like a nice fall jacket with a warm fleece on the inside and a water resistant outer layer, which is why I love this because it's not going to be that typical rain jacket. So it's just one of my favorite rain jackets for Caden in the fall. Just Sorry, Mackenzie decided to join us because he does not want to lie on the floor. So he'll be joining me for the rest of the video. Now I know I'm going to be talking a lot about shoes because we kind of go through those different weathers. So the shoes slowly transition from rain boots and normal sneakers to like colder shoes. But I call these like transitional boots. These boots here are from Old Navy. These are kind of like his fall boots. He's not gonna be wearing them out in a bunch of snow, but this is just gonna keep his feet a little bit warmer when it's like the crisp, cool air when I don't necessarily want him in sneakers anymore because I feel like that's not warm enough. So this just gives him a little bit extra warmth. These are just some boots from Old Navy. They're just leather little boots. They've got straps and they've just got, they come up a little bit higher. So they're gonna snug him a little bit better, keep him a little bit warmer but they're just like a transitional boot going into the colder weather. And I just love these and yeah, I, I, you need a good pair of transitional boots. I don't know if that's a real word, but that's what I call these. <laughs> then of course, going into the winter weather, you're gonna want a winter jacket, some ski pants, and some snow boots. So the winter jacket that I really love for Caden, again, is from Children's Place. This one here, just, gray orange winter jacket. The reason I love this one so much, it doesn't have it on the inside right now, but it does have like a removable fleece layer. So again, you could use the removable fleece when it's kind of fall weather. And then once it starts to get colder, you put them together and they become a really good winter jacket. Okay. And of course, as I said, winter boots, but you really need to make sure, at least where I live, that they have a really good quality winter boot that is going to keep their feet warm in minus 30 degrees weather because it gets really cold here where I live. So the boots that I have for Caden are these ones. These are Sorrel's and I just love them. They're a little bit more expensive, but they're a really well-known brand for the cold weather winter boots. So I just think 
think it's very essential to make sure you have boots that are suitable for the weather around you. Now, if it's not going to get super cold around you, you don't need boots that are good up to minus 30, minus 50 degree weather. It doesn't get to minus 50 here, but it does sometimes get to minus 40. So you're just going to want to make sure that they're obviously suitable for the weather around you. Now, the last clothing item I wanted to mention, and then I'm going to get into some other extra items is sweatpants. The reason I love sweatpants for Caden is because it's colder and when it's colder weather it's not usually that fun to go outside in jeans because jeans I feel tend to get very cold very fast and can kind of just not be the most comfortable to wear in colder weather as in winter and such. So I love a good pair of sweatpants. Really to me it doesn't matter what they look like as long as they're comfortable but yeah these are just Pair of Caden's little sweats. They're red, they're cute. So now getting into like my non-clothing item essentials, first one would have to be a good lotion because with the cold weather your skin gets very dry and I find it very essential to be putting lotion on my children all the time or else their skin can get very rashy and dry. Caden has eczema so I really have to make sure I put on a good lotion. Another thing that comes with cold weather is chapped lips. So of course a good lip chap to help your little babies when they get those chapped lips. The one that I like for Caden or more Caden likes the most is my EOS lip balms. They're more of a bald shape, so I find it's a lot easier for him to take and put on his lips than the little sticks. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. And I gave him the typical stick lip chap. So he just really likes the EOS ones. I just give him one of the fruity ones. I stray away from all the mint ones or tingly ones because it freaks him out. So I just tend to use the EOS like, I don't know, the pink one, whatever that flavor is. That's the one I use all the time. And my last fall slash winter essential is good indoor activities such as my son is in love with Play-Doh right now. With the colder weather, we're not going outside as much. We're not spending a lot of time doing outdoor activities. So I need to make sure that he's entertained with indoor activities. And one good thing that he's been loving right now is Play-Doh. He's really into it. He loves it. Some other examples would be puzzles or crafts or that magic sand. Caden has that stuff too, like kinetic sand or whatever it's called. He really likes that, but any good indoor activities that are gonna keep them entertained because they're going to be in the house a lot more and not being able to be outside when it's minus 30 degree weather. Anyways, that is all for this video. I'm really glad that Jessica asked me to be part of this collab. If you guys don't know who she is, please check her out. She's a little girl named Kennedy and she's so adorable and I know that you will love her video. So just like click right here right now and it will send you over to her video so you can check it out. If you came here from her video, I hope you like what you saw and please subscribe because I put out a new video every single week mainly on Wednesdays. Life has been a little hectic so I have been a day or two late but I've always gotten a video up every single week so I guarantee a video every single week. Also please check out last week's video. I did a box swap with my friend Bonnie from Harris Family Journey and you can check out my video and her video as well. Yeah other than that that's it for this video. I love you guys to the moon and back and I will see you in my next video. Mwah! Bye!